Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer. You probably heard about it if you haven't felt it. A lot of rain across the area. Now we're looking west of Emporia. You say, well, that's quite a ways north. Well, it is, but that water is all draining south and southeast. And unfortunately, a city of strong Kansas, strong city Kansas, half of it was underwater uh, earlier in the day on our Thursday. And so that is just a lot of water that's coming down and head toward Lake Uluga. And so we're going to have an extended period of a lot of water across the region. One of the biggest issues we have right now is how high the lakes are. Now, as of 8 o'clock in the evening hours on our Thursday night, these were the numbers. Uh, in 42 hours, Carl Reservoir has gone up 13 feet. We're getting close to the top of the flood pool. So it's very close to where we're going to have to be releasing a lot of water into Keystone. Keystone's already going up because the Cimarron River is full of water. And also the Salt Fork uh, is uh, full of water. So and it's just too much water coming through the area. Sky Took does not have as big a drainage pattern. It's just basically in Osage County. That's gone up because of the rain, but that's not going to be a big uh, major player. Uh, Copan is up and then Uluga is going to go up. We feel considerably uh, over the next couple of days as that water drains out of southeast Kansas. Grand Lake's a similar situation. They're moving the water through right now. It's three feet above normal. Uh, Neosho River is still flooding, so there's still a lot of water flowing into it. And then it has to go down through the Hudson Lake, and then it goes down to Fort Gibson. Fort Gibson's holding back most of the flooding water and all the heavy rains. Uh, and so that's where most of it's stored at this time. Ten Killer, which uh, drains the Illinois River, is 11 feet. And then Lake Eufaula, uh, which is running, again, it's a monster lake. It went, up about a, it went up a foot the last two days. And that's a lot of water because it has such a huge surface area that that's just a massive amount of water coming in. And that's from the Canadian. Here's the Cimarron. This is the, uh, this is the uh, Keystone Lake area. And then the Arkansas drains in that and Salt Fork. So these have been under flood. And so that's just going to blow up. Uh, quite a bit of the Keystone uh, flood pool. So we're going to have to be watching that over the next couple of days because it's a very important thing. And we uh, went through 1986, which was not good. As long as we don't have a massive rain event, we're probably going to make it through this okay. Just as something blows up that isn't expected over the next week, that could do a lot of uh, damage to our area. So hoping that's not going to happen. And right now it doesn't look like it is. But anyway, mold spore was high and then the pollens had gone down. The rain, the cooler weather kind of slowed things down for a while. It's going to be a ch one chilly morning across the year. We're going to be near record lows. Record lows 41. We have clearing skies going on. Clouds are going to stay stronger down or thicker down to the south. We'll be around 50. And as we look, the May chill for the morning again. Record is 41 back in 1909. That's a long way at 42 is what we anticipate in the forecast. Good looking Friday afternoon, partly cloudy skies. Clouds will be on the increase a little bit in the afternoon again, but we'll be in the 60s. It should be light winds, gorgeous day, so a good Friday. But late Friday night, uh, we're looking for precipitation to increase by midnight around the area. And then we could have another band of rain kind of breaking a little bit during the morning hours. And then another band of rain comes in during the midday hours. So that's not exactly what we'd like to see. It's mainly light, fortunately, because again, if we had two or three inches of rain up uh, into the areas of Kansas or north central Oklahoma, that would be awful. So we don't expect it just enough to be a nuisance. And there could be a few remnant showers even into the evening hours on Saturday. Late Saturday afternoon is going to be our best hope for something good if you had outdoor plans, because unfortunately through the noontime, it's a very high likelihood it'll be wet and rainy. And there could be a little bit of thunder, but it's more of a cold rain. Rooster Day is going on for Friday. Great weather for our Friday night. So if you get a chance, enjoy that. Rooster Day's on Saturday, maybe a little bit more in the way of dodging rain. Strawberry Festival going on still well. Of course, that's kicked off with rodeo and also some other fun events. I'm there for the parade, which again, meteorologist or weatherman in a parade when it's raining. That is not one of my smarter moves. Anyway, it's great to be in Stillwell. Look forward to having some strawberries, and it should be a good day. It's just cool, so you just have to dress for off and on periods of some showers. Same thing with the Tubuli Festival, which is another one of my favorite things. Uh, that's in Bristow uh, going on on Saturday. So if you get a chance, you like Tubuli, go out and enjoy some Tubuli. Take some Tubuli home with you, and it should be a good day again, dodging showers throughout the day. Mother's Day, though, fortunately, by the time we get there, should be gorgeous. 70s during the afternoon. Beautiful weather. So breaking it down, chilly here to get us going in our morning for our Friday. Beautiful noontime, beautiful in the afternoon, or nice, however you want to call it. It's not like 80 degrees and perfect weather, but it's close enough. Then it's a 
near 100% chance of rain. Again, the amounts of rain will be kind of uh, split, and so we, some folks might get very little, and some of us might get a half inch, three quarters of an inch of rain. And then Saturday's off and on chance of showers, gradually ending late, and then Mother's Day looks fantastic. Monday, back to warmer weather as we go back to more of a south wind. Notice how we get near normal, which is about upper 70s, near 80. We do have a slight chance of thunderstorms late Tuesday and Wednesday, and then again toward next week. Oh, so much going on. That's a look at your nine day planner. Don't forget Alan Crone, six in the morning. And with the latest weather updates from News on 6 Warren team, you can text 6CONNECT to 79640.